On the sidelines of the Defense Expo 2022, officials of Russia's Rosbaron Export have said that the Korwa Ordnance Factory is ready to start manufacturing of AK-203 rifles by the end of 2022, and the plan is to modernize production facilities to manufacture the rifles with 100% localization in India. Rosbaron Export is also ready to discuss other mutually beneficial projects and other exclusive proposals on joint work, in line with the terms of transfer of technology imposed by India. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has showcased its wheeled light tank at the Defence Expo 2022, that is based on 8x8 wheeled armoured platform. It is equipped with a 105mm gun, modular armor to provide protection to Stenag Level 3, water jet for amphibious operations, and it can also be integrated with active protection systems. It has a maximum speed of 100 km per hour, and all wheels have run flat capability to allow the vehicle to move even after suffering punctures. Larsen and Tubro has unveiled its light tank model at the Defence Expo 2022, that is being developed in collaboration with the DRDO for the Indian Army requirement. L&T displayed its future infantry fighting vehicle prototype at the Defence Expo 2022, along with its Sudarsan close-in weapon system, that has won the Air Force contract for 240 units. Larsen and Tubro has also displayed its futuristic high-performance vertical takeoff and landing remotely piloted aircraft system, that is equipped with a new highly efficient power plant with an outstanding power-to-weight ratio, that will enable it to operate at extreme altitudes of 5,500 meters. The Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has unveiled its latest 8x8 infantry fighting vehicle at the Defence Expo, which looks exactly like the Arma 8x8 armoured fighting vehicle of the Turkish firm Autocar, and there is a possibility that it has been jointly offered by the company to the Indian Army. It is fitted with a Nefer unmanned weapon station that is armed with a 30mm automatic cannon, and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It has a maximum road speed of 105 km per hour, and a maximum cruising range of 700 km. Kaliani Strategic Systems also showcased the 155mm 52 caliber ATAG truck mounted howitzer, and the Themistract Hybrid Modular Infantry System, which has been jointly offered to the Indian Army, that is built by the Estonian company Milrem Robotics. SSS Defense has showcased its entire family of indigenous rifles at the Defense Expo, that includes P72 7.62x39mm carbines, and Sabre and Viper sniper rifles. SSS Defense also unveiled its latest M72 5.56x45mm carbine at the event, which has started undergoing trials with the Indian Special Forces, and is 100% indigenously designed and manufactured, that has also been offered to the global market. Solar Industries has showcased its Nagastri 1 electric fixed-wing loitering munition at the Defence Expo, which has recently cleared user trials with the Indian Army, and is all set to be inducted very soon. Officials have said, that it is a hand-launched loitering munition, that can carry a 1.5 kg warhead to a range of 15 km, and is highly effective in tactical battlefield area. Gridbots Technologies Private Limited has showcased its Titan Autonomous Tank Killer at the Defence Expo 2022, that is armed with a MOG 380 GM developed by Bharat Dynamics Limited, that gives it the capability to target tanks in top attack and direct attack mode from a range of 2.5 km. The Titan has a top speed of 30 km per hour, and its sensors pod helps it to detect heat signatures of enemy tanks at 20 km range, and it can mount up to 880 GMs. Gridbot's official has confirmed, that high altitude trials and demonstration of the Titan is currently underway. 
Argentinian Air Force officials led by the Argentine Chief of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Juan Palio will be visiting the Defense Expo today, and another team of Argentine pilots will later accompany them to Hindustan Aeronautics Bangalore facility, where they will be given access to the Tejas simulator, and a flight demonstration with Argentinian Air Force officials has been planned for both Tejas aircraft and Prachand light combat helicopter along with a detailed briefing on replacing British origin equipment and parts from the Tejas offered to Argentina.